Hello everyone. Um, we are going to be starting our uh, reporting information paper. I, I hope that you find this to be a, an enjoyable paper because you get to uh, report information on something that is of interest to you. That has always been an interest to you and there's so many things that you can talk about. So you in this paper are just simply reporting information about something that you know very well about. So I have this Prezi here and I am going to go ahead and start. Okay, so I got this from a couple of uh, different textbooks. Um, so I am, uh, I just kind of combined it uh, with your textbook and another one. Um, uh, so uh, I don't know if you all have ever heard of Dragnet, uh, but this is a phrase that originated from a parody actually based on Dragnet. Uh, just the facts, ma'am. The goal of a, re a re of a report is to just present factual information. You're going to educate an audience in some way. Um, the stance of those who write reports is generally objective rather than argumentative. So in your paper, um, your, uh, your goal is to just report information. You're really not going to um, be um, uh, supporting your opinion in any way. A lot of times your opinion may surface, but really the goal for this type of paper is just to report information. Um, so be thinking. I mean, be thinking about uh, some things that you like. This is found in so many uh, different um, uh, areas um, uh, and facets of society. Uh, we have biology, psychology, engineering, physical science, social science, applied science, and the list goes on and on where people are just uh, reporting information, not necessarily taking a side, but just simply reporting the information. Um, and this is just kind of a, a rhetorical question right here. With the advent of social media, you'll find that reports are delivered in numerous formats. Can you name a few? Uh, do these messages differ from each other? So I, I know that you could probably uh, think of uh, certain social media uh, websites uh, and also to certain news sites and, um, uh, and how they also differ from each other. Um, and reports differ depending on who's reporting the information. Um, obviously, I mean, uh, there's community groups, outside consultants, parents' organizations, and uh, teachers' union, and uh, just different um, uh, it, different people, different groups will uh, report in um, uh, different ways um, and who their audience is. So that's what you... Uh, uh, really need to remind yourself is who is your audience um, and in this case in this class it's your classmates and it's me um, so you tailor your message to your audience um, some groups may rely on a uh, statistical uh, data uh, some might rely on personal testimony Hi, just really uh, depends um, on um, who is delivering the information and, uh, and who they are delivering it to. And it's found in different modes of writing too. So what you're doing um, in, in this uh, particular class is you start off with a narrative. You're going to have a reporting information paper and um, and then you're going to have an analysis and then you're going to have um, uh, an argumentative paper um, and in that argumentative paper you're going to be um, implementing various modes um, that, that that is why there's uh, so uh, there, there's several uh, papers is because we're working up to that argumentative and in that argumentative you are going to be using uh, reporting information. You are possibly going to be using uh, a narrative. You're definitely going to be using an analysis as well or several. Um, uh, so it, it's all going to be intertwined and uh, that that is what reporting information is. Um, 
Okay, so characteristic features. Um, you, so you are able to pick out your topic. Um, and uh, I go on to uh, uh, Blackboard and into the discussion board, and I will go in and, and, and approve it. Um, you need a topic I already mentioned, carefully focused for a, a specific audience. Uh, you may need to define some key terms because remember, uh, you are an expert on whatever uh, topic you have chosen, and you may be using some vocabulary that we don't know, so you might need to explain it. Use some trustworthy information. Um, in just a moment, I am going to share a video with you that I uh, had made here a while back um, that uh, in which I will go over um, uh, going on to the databases and, uh, and also MLA as well. Appropriate organization and design and of course a confident and informative tone. If you pick a topic that you are comfortable with, that confidence is definitely going to surface and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be able to see it. Um, audience, um, kind of already mentioned that. Uh, tailor your message to your audience. Uh, that is really important. Uh, consider carefully who you are addressing. What do they know? What do they not know? What information do they expect? Um, and I mentioned this too, uh, really focusing in on key terms that um, people may not uh, really know. You might need to explain some of that. Um, effective reports uh, present information that readers can trust to be accurate, including citations of public research, dates of interviews, uh, um, and uh, details about the sources. So I, I am definitely going to be sharing uh, that uh, video. Uh, of the uh, MLA and going on to uh, the college's databases so you can access that uh, those um, uh, trustworthy sources. There's really no single strategy in organizing. I mean you uh, you're, you're gonna be picking a topic that uh, you are uh, uh, very familiar with, you organize it in the best way that you can in order to deliver your message. Uh, see here, effective reports have a confident tone. Um, and just like I had mentioned, uh, your goal is to explain something to your audience clearly and objectively and that confident tone is definitely going to be there if you know what you're talking about. Uh, so you definitely want to pick something that uh, you're comfortable uh, in talking about and comfortable in sharing information uh, with us about. Um, choose a topic that matters to you and to others. Consider the rhetorical situation. Um, and and uh, the rhetorical situation uh, encompasses um, uh, quite a bit of uh, aspects. Um, it encompasses um, time era, who's speaking, who is speaking to who, uh, who is your audience, what does the audience believe. Um, that is your rhetorical situation. Um, your speaker, your audience, what they believe, um, uh, what is going on at the time. Uh, and so uh, that is something that you really always need to keep in mind whenever you are writing a, a paper or really whenever you're really writing anything uh, to an audience, of course, um, is to keep that in mind, the rhetorical situation. Be clear about your purpose. What's your purpose for uh, sharing this information with us? Consider the larger context. I'm about to show you an example of a reporting information paper in which the student uh, shared uh, the steps on how to become a lifeguard. Um, so her uh, larger context, yes, she was sharing her own personal information, something she really knew quite a bit about, um, but it was something that was meaningful to her. So it it applied to 
the larger context and the fact that she was, you know, um, helping uh, uh, the people who were, were there, where she worked at, and of course, too, helping her classmates and understanding what all went into it. Um, know your sources. Um, they, they do need to be trustworthy. Consider other positions. Now, this is not an argumentative paper. Um, but whenever that time comes, you definitely need to consider other positions. And you also need to consider other positions as well, just for reporting information. Um, but okay, let's see what I wrote here. Consider other positions, not for argumentative purposes, but to accurately and holistically relay information. You can better relay information if you know what uh, other positions are out there uh, on the topic matter. Uh, think about organization and be mindful of smooth transitions. Write a tentative thesis statement. Um, you can always change it later. You can also write the body first, the body of the essay first, and then add your intro and thesis and then uh, your conclusion as well. So that is one way to do it is to work from the inside out instead of from the top to the bottom. Uh, that that might uh, work better for you because your thesis statement is a reflection of what is in your paper. Uh, so it might be uh, good if you started with your actual body first. Uh, I hope this video helps you. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions at all. Thank you.